Let's start off this video by saying that painful sex is not normal. Sex should never be painful. It should be the opposite. It should be enjoyed. I mean, I guess there might be some people that enjoy painful sex and that's okay, no judgment here. But overall, it should be a pleasurable experience and not something that's miserable and painful. I'm talking about the women who experience painful sex and then you go to your doctor or you go and tell your friends that you're having painful sex and they just kind of brush it off. Like, oh, your first couple times, it's okay that it hurts, that's normal. No, it's not. Or maybe they just say, oh, you just need to relax, blah, blah, blah. That is not helpful information. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you what your OBGYN wants you to know about painful sex. So how common is painful sex? Nearly three out of four women will experience painful sex at some point in their life. For some, this is a temporary problem, and for others, this is a long-term problem. So I want you to know that if you're having painful sex, you are 100% not alone. So before we get into all the details, we need to know what can cause painful sex. Now there's so many things that can cause this, things from GYN problems, from ovarian cysts, maybe it's endometriosis, or maybe it can be an issue with the sexual response, a lack of desire or a lack of arousal. As humans, whether you identify as male or female, we all experience a sexual response, and it is a normal physiological sexual response. Response. It's also an emotional response that develops due to sexual stimulation. There's an entire response that should be occurring in your body to help you prepare for sex. I'm gonna break it down explaining all the different reasons with a little bit more detail. So what can cause a sexual response problem? Your state of mind. Maybe you have some sort of fear or shame or guilt associated with sex, whether that's because of sexual trauma you've experienced in the past or maybe it's due to cultural, religious, or your certain upbringing. These feelings can almost make it impossible to relax and prepare for sex. And then this can make arousal very difficult because mentally you're just not in the state of mind and you can't relax and prepare. Also, if you're experiencing a lot of stress from another area of your life, this can actually also have an effect on the sexual response. Another big one is going to be relationship. Remember that sex or intercourse is between two people. It's not just you. So if you're having some personal problems within the relationship, that can affect the sexual response or maybe it's a lack of communication or explaining exactly what you like. Also, maybe there's an issue with your partner or a medical condition that your partner has, like erectile dysfunction, that can maybe cause a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress around the conversation or the act of intercourse. Next are some medications. We do know that some medications can actually affect the physiological sexual response that we should be experiencing. So make sure you're reviewing your side effect profile of every medication that you take with your doctor. Things like antidepressants or maybe even sometimes birth control pills can affect this. And lastly, remember that there are certain medical conditions and surgical procedures that can actually affect the sexual response. Things like uncontrolled diabetes, cancer, thyroid disorders. And also, if you haven't watched my video Video where I talk about labioplasty or labial surgery and stuff like that, please check it out. I will leave it linked down below, but I go into some of the potential side effects of having those surgeries. Now let's talk about GYN or some gynecologic reasons that could be contributing to painful sex. This could be related to some sort of skin sensitivity that you're experiencing on the vulva. Maybe there's ulcers, maybe there's a contact dermatitis or an allergic reaction that's going on that can be contributing to painful sex. So make sure that whenever you're cleaning the vulva that you're not using anything with heavy fragrances, really just some warm water, a very sensitive skin type wash, that's all you need. There is a condition called vulvodynia, which is a pain disorder associated with the vulva. Now, occasionally this condition can be difficult to diagnose, but make sure you're having an open, honest conversation with your doctor so that we can do our full workup. Sometimes hormone changes can actually contribute to painful sex. Whether you're going through perimenopause or menopause, those changes in hormones can actually affect the tissue inside of the vagina, which can lead to irritation, dryness, and painful sex. I do have videos on good lubrication and also perimenopause and menopause, so check those videos out. I'll leave them linked down below. Sometimes if you have a vaginitis or a vaginal infection, this can cause painful sex. There's also a condition called vaginismus, which is almost a reflex for the muscles around the vagina to kind of constrict and cramp down right before sex or even right before introducing anything. Women with vaginismus may even struggle with placing tampons. 
Vaginismus can cause severe excruciating pain during intercourse and this treatment is usually therapy or sometimes even using some form of dilators. Childbirth. Childbirth trauma can contribute to painful sex, especially in that immediate postpartum period or the first time you have sex after having a baby. It can definitely make things feel a little bit different, so make sure you're talking to your doctor about this. It is not normal for it to be painful even after giving birth. Pelvic floor physical therapy after giving birth is something that is amazing and 100% recommended. Now, when I see patients in the office and their main complaint is this painful sex, I wanna make sure I'm doing a thorough history and getting as much detail as I can. So make sure you feel very comfortable in being open and honest. We need to know things like exactly describe the pain. Is it sharp? Is it shooting? Where is it located? Is it with insertion only? Is it with deep penetration? Or maybe in certain positions it doesn't hurt as bad or maybe some positions make it worse. Do you feel it on the outside on your vulva? Is it inside of the vagina? Is it tight? Do you feel it on your belly or your abdomen on the right side, on the left side? All of this information is extremely valuable. So when should you see your doctor? If you're having frequent back-to-back -back painful sex, you're trying all these things, nothing is helping, you definitely need to go see your doctor. Also, if you're having sex and there's severe pain involved, please go see your doctor. Like I said, when you see your doctor, we get a full history. We also wanna make sure and do a very thorough physical exam to see if we can pinpoint exactly where the pain is coming from or what's causing it. Now, I really don't want you to feel embarrassed or shamed that this is something that you're going through and you have to come see us. It is literally my job to help you so that together we can come up with a plan that's going to work for you. Sometimes maybe getting an ultrasound may provide some sort of benefit too if we're thinking things like an ovarian cyst may be the problem or something like that. Also, it's important during these conversations to be open and honest and really let us know if there's some sort of trauma or shame or guilt associated around sex. We're here to help, or we may be able to point you in the right direction for a good therapist or counselor or someone that can help you. What if you're not ready to see a doctor? Is there anything you can try at home? Yes, and let's go over it. Try these things and see if you notice a change or an improvement in your pain. Use lube, make sure you're watching my video to see which one. Make time for sex. Maybe you and your partner have a really busy life. Don't just wait until you're extremely tired. Make room for it and really connect with your partner. Remember that this is a relationship and communication is key. I mean, communication is a super important part of the relationship as a whole, but even communicating as far as positions that you might like better or you're having pain or you're not or what you like and don't like and where to touch and what not to touch, be open, honest, and communicate. It's gonna make your relationship stronger and it's gonna make the whole process more enjoyable. Another thing that you can do if intercourse is really painful is maybe just try and stick to oral sex and you might notice that you don't experience that pain with oral sex. Maybe you need more foreplay or more time to prepare before you actually have penetration. Try your massage, not in the sense of just a sexual massage, but a sensual massage may help you relax and prepare. Maybe you can try some pain relieving steps before having sex, taking a warm bath, emptying your bladder right before sex. Get in the right headspace. You should never feel that this is something you have to force. I hope you found this video helpful. And if this is something that you're going through, I hope I have encouraged you to go out and see your doctor so that you can come up with a treatment plan or maybe just talking to someone else about this will help you feel more comfortable. On the screen, I'm gonna leave linked here my video all about the different types of lubricants and what I recommend, so give it a shot. It might help. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for always showing me so much love and support. I will see you in my next video. Always remember to be kind and show love to everyone around you. I love you guys. Bye.